Hi there Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 15th of February. This week begins with a quarter moon in your opposite sign of Taurus. The backdrop this provides for the rest of the week is going to get you thinking a lot about your closest relationships. You could find yourself a lot more sensitive to what's said to you by the people you really care about. On the other hand, you may find that someone around you is not getting on with someone else who's also close in your circle and you may find yourself in the role of the peacemaker. Either way, someone could be a little bit out of sorts and maybe it's you who's just much more tuned in to the kind of stimuli that comes from the give and take of relationships. But despite the fact that there is this extra sensitivity building up, there is still a fantastically powerful, potent link between Jupiter and your co-ruler Mars, and Mars is in your sign. And this suggests, as long as you feel secure and at ease with the people that you're interacting with, you can still be a driving force in some kind of collective or cooperative effort. Or you can be thinking very clearly and determinedly about long-term aims. And if you really want to achieve something, your willpower to go for it can be absolutely awesome. Your other co-ruler, your modern co-ruler of Pluto, is also angling up in a helpful way to the sun. For you, this suggests that conversations you have with a sibling can also provide some very great insights to this week. Perhaps your uh, wisdom is going to be something they're going to be more receptive to, but you may find that someone is going to want to be very nurturing and protective towards you, but it just may be in a way that you're not used to, which in a way could also be a bit of a, a jolt on your senses. But Venus is going to be moving on Tuesday, and this can stimulate your desire to improve your immediate surroundings. If you're someone who loves home decor, and experimenting with different ways of doing things or being particularly fashionable in this regard you may decide to give your home some kind of cosmetic upgrade or buy some new furniture or objet d'art. If you're someone who particularly likes entertaining well maybe you're going to want to play mother hen and invite people around whether it's the family, your closest extended friends and family or someone you really are attracted to and play host. Now, in a romantic context, it is really important that whoever you're cooperating with at the moment is someone who understands you in almost an unspoken way. Although there is the opportunity to discuss things, and certainly about your ideas, you can be very passionate, the other side of you is almost wanting people to attune to your mood in a much more uh, sensitive and empathetic way. Quite rightly too. After all, you can often be very shrewd about what's going on around you, but you are going to be wanting this from others. So just be aware that if there is anyone who doesn't tend to pick up on your moods in the way that you might like, it could be a little bit disappointing. However, once the sun moves on Friday into the sign of Pisces, and of course your sister water sign, the much more creative side of your nature can be stimulated. And don't be surprised if something you can do from the comfort of your home gives you a great deal of pleasure, especially if it's making in some way. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.